brows are waxed. That's one thing off of my to-do list for this week. All I have left, honestly, is to get my nails done either Wednesday night or Thursday, and then pack the other night, if that makes sense. I really wanna go to Ulta, since I'm in the area, and look up. I really wanna go to Ulta, since I'm in the area, and look at their Sol de Janeiro. Sorry, this car is psycho. I wanna look at their Sol de Janeiro perfume, but I already have one. So please tell me why I am the way that I am. Tell me I don't need it, y'all. Tell me. That was my sign for God telling me no, because it literally took me the way to go home versus the back way to Ulta. So there's my sign. I don't have much planned for the rest of the night, honestly, than to go home and chill, shower, and then hang with Belmont. Chandler is clothing tonight because he has to get a lot done. That'll give me time to get a few little things done around the house. Okay, y'all, this is so cute. Let me back up really quick. So this is our guest room. And there's Belmont. Somebody come get him. My father-in-law was in town this past weekend for... The U.S. Open here in North Carolina, which was in Pinehurst. My mom had actually bought these nightstands for us a couple years ago, and we just now had room for them. So I might spray paint them black to match the black rail in the headboard and the footboard, and then bring some more green accents. My thought process was to do black on the nightstands and then eventually do a green board and batten to bring in more green accents. With that being said, I thought since they're gonna stay dark, I brought in some lighter accents. So white and then this wicker rattan shade that had the black ribbon, which is perfect. The light bulb is honestly super bright and I might have to change those, but that's all we had for the time being. So that's what you're gonna get. I'll probably do some more decor, so something right here, because they are very long, but I think they're cute. If I remember, I'll link them down below, because I got them from Walmart, and they're honestly super cheap. I think together, it was less than $20, so...
I know most people are working on Fridays, but that coffee shop is always hopping on a Friday morning. They've got eight or nine cars sitting out there and a bunch of people in like the lobby, hanging out, talking, doing whatever, but the girl's gotta go to work. <clears throat> I work 11 to three a day because I had longer days, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. But today was Belmont's birthday, and so I was able to hang out with him some today, which is super sweet. And then I packed up the car, got coffee, and now I'm headed in to eat just a little bit before my shift. Mind you, it's already 78 degrees, and it's 10 o'clock in the morning, so I am not about this life. Sakura, which is an Asian place here in town, and we scarfed it down, so I have no video proof, but I don't have a book for the beach, so I decided to go to Barnes & Noble and pick out one pretty quickly before they close, so...
and I'm going in to get coffee. store here in a little bit to pick up last night things for my group balls tonight and yeah I'm gonna sit here and read a little bit until she wakes up for her nap and go from there so
farmer's market. So we'll probably do that in here a little bit when they open at nine. Mom and I had the best time in Charleston yesterday and walked all the steps, but it wasn't too crowded and we were able to hop in and out of stores for the conditioning. Um, but I'll have to do a little haul and show you guys what I got later. So.
there's a few locations around Spartanburg, but I've never been, I think it's a local spot, but I just tried the caramel truffle latte and it's pretty good. I say I branch out with my coffee flavors, but I really don't. Once I like what I like, that's it. There's, there's no change in. And I, 99% of the time,